Hey guys, I'm Scotty Scheffler and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about a trick shot I hit occasionally when I get into a really bad spot on the golf course. This one's going to be a good example of, if I have a clean lie, um, sometimes that'll happen when there's a lot of people out there, you kind of hit it way offline and you're either getting some dirt or you're in the desert or stuff like that. But really all I'm trying to do is hit the ball really low and put a lot of hook on it. So let's say I, I pulled it off the tee, I'm way left in the trees, I got to get it back out onto the fairway and then running on the fairway up to the green. Um, so hopefully I don't have to hit this shot too often, but this will just be a little example of it. So really all I'm trying to do is this one, I get the ball way back in my stance to hit it low, and then all I'm trying to do is just create a ton of hook movement. So I feel like I'm hitting like a, like a topspin forehand if I'm playing tennis, or a topspin forehand if I'm playing ping pong, but something to where I can just get it turning and get that ball rolling. And a lot of times what will happen is I'll step through and I'll finish kind of funny because I'm just trying to put so much movement onto the golf ball. Um, but for this one, I'll have it finish somewhere around that black pole and I'm gonna hook it, start out over here by these trees. There it is. So that's with a three iron. So pretty much same thing now with a higher lofted club. It's not gonna go as low, but I can still get it to go pretty low. And this one may actually hook even a touch more just cause I can get it to stay in the air a little bit longer with the spin. But everything's pretty much still the same. Get nice wide stance. I feel like I'm hitting kind of a little top spin forehand. Something where I'm just getting that ball turning right to left. That was a lot of hook. <laughs>